Hey, we are here with a tutorial for Free Compose. What it is, what it does, and how to use it. So basically, Free Compose is a way to organize all your layers in the timeline, uh, but without breaking any parenting or expressions or kind of locking them away in another composition. Here I have the same composition, uh, but all the layers are out in the open. So I'm looking at these lines here, these three lines that make up the chart. If I want to group them together, I could just pre-comp them, right? Ah, wrong. It's going to break an expression because they were tied to these sliders on the controller layer. Oh, what if I want to bring those in? Oh yeah, something else was using that controller layer. So it gets really complicated, right? The other thing is, this layer has a parent, and if we then go into this comp, you'll see that the parenting is broken. Um, so that's where Free Compose comes in. We're just going to select these lines and click Make Group. Et voila, we have our first group. And if we show this, we see that this retains its parenting and none of the expressions are broken. Now you can show it, hide it, you can select it, you can deselect it. Wow, amazing. But importantly, you can move all those group layers around in the timeline by simply moving your group layer and mousing over the panel. All those layers will refresh. Alternatively, you can use auto sync to make that happen without mousing over. As well, you can add layers and when you mouse over that panel, Free Compose will automatically see how many layers are now in that group and adjust accordingly. Now just like a pre-comp, you can also add effects to a group. Um, so let's give the, these lines some pizzazz, a little glow maybe. So we add the effect and when we hover over that recompose panel, we'll see it applies the effect to all the layers in the group with relative property links. So now we can just click our group, go to our original effect, and when we change the radius, for example, it changes the radius for all of those layers. Now you'll notice that when you group layers, Free Compose automatically parents them and puts that null at the average position of the layers. And that works in 2D and 3D as well. If we don't want to parent them, we'll simply hold Alt while we make a group. So let's make another group. And at the same time, I'll point out that you can have nested groups. So if I select these explosion layers, for example, and I select the group lines, I don't need to select these layers, and I click Make Group, I'll even hold Alt so that these explosions aren't parented. I'll call it Explosions and Lines. And now we have another group that consists of the explosion layers and the lines group. Now, we can move this explosions and lines layer around hover over and all these layers will update. We can also apply effects uh, to that sort of parent group, hover over, and all those layers will also have that effect applied. Now if we start to get a lot of nested groups, say like this, there's three groups in here now, but we can actually show just the group layers by holding alt when we press show or hide. And from there, we can show the groups that we want. Now if you don't want to group anymore, uh, you can simply release its layers by clicking release group, and you'll see that that group's layers are now out in the open, and the effect has been removed from them. And if we want to delete a group and its nested groups, we'll hold Alt while we release the group. You now see that all of those layers are out in the open, and the groups are no longer there, they no longer have effects, it's all disappeared. You will see that any effects that were applied to the layers before they were grouped, now say layer effects on the effect name, that's to differentiate between uh, effects that are directly applied to layers and effects from group. Now all this is really great, but what if I don't want to go back and forth between these panels all the time? If I know I'll be working in the layers panel a lot here, I'll just turn on auto sync and then every 100 milliseconds, which is basically immediate, it will refresh the group every time we make changes and then click back on that group. The reason that I 
have the option between mouse over and auto sync is that if auto sync is on and you go to solid settings and you click on this eyedropper, it's going to break the script and you're going to have to reload it. The same goes for if you have the mouse over on and you actually use the color picker on the panel. Now if you create some layers and you want to put them underneath that group, you might end up just putting them inside that group at the top of the group. So if you look here, they're now inside that group. Um, that's okay because we can select those layers and simply move them outside the group either after or before that group. Just like that. So watch those layer indexes. If you want to move a group and all its contents, it's best to select that group and then move it. The last thing to know is that if you have uh, nested groups, and let's say put on a hue saturation effect, changes it, okay, awesome. Uh, but if we then put on a hue saturation effect with the parent group, and refresh it, it's actually going to replace the hue saturation from that first group. This seems to be just sort of a strange quirk of After Effects. Um, so the way to get around this is to take your first group, your nested group, duplicate that effect, and then just reset the settings to zero, refresh that, and refresh the parent group manually by clicking Sync once. Now we'll see that these layers have group one FX, that's here, the lines, and they have group two FX, and that's this. Bit strange, but that's the way to do it. Okay, that's everything. Um, I have been using Free Compose, really love it. I think you'll love it too. Um, if you have any questions, reach out to freecomposescript at gmail.com. I'll be working hard to fix any bugs and add new features in the coming weeks. Thanks.